Well, welcome to Brenda Kay, and today we're talking staging. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Real Estate with Brenda Kay. This is our eighth season, believe it or not. Wow. It is. This is like 78 videos. I'm really excited about it. Today we're going to talk about staging. Of course, you know this is a show where we talk about everything and anything to do with your real estate. Lisa Beaupre, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, Lisa, today I just want people to understand what staging is. Start with that and then why you do what you do. Sure. Well, first of all, I would say state what staging is not, and staging is not decorating. Really, when we're talking about staging, it's really uh, it's a, mar a visual marketing tool, mm -hmm. right? Because people right now are shopping online. That's exactly totally. the first thing that they do. Totally. And you, you know, if you're priced well and it shows well, yep. you know you're going to get yep. traffic to that door. So yep. that's definitely what staging is. It's mm -hmm. all about how to attract more people, more buyers online so they can come exactly well there's a big myth out there that when i say to people look you know we have a stager on our team she's going to come over oh no i know to declutter yeah that's a myth well it's i mean you have to just you part of it. have to do that it's not but just decluttering no and you know what sometimes you give me consultations and the clients are very well organized but i think everybody can benefit from it, that consultation which i call mm -hmm. a, a walk and talk where you know, because a lot of times when you've been living in your house for so many years, you're so used to having your stuff in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And when I come in, I'm thinking, you know, the way we place our couch on an everyday basis might not be the right way for the camera to grab mm -hmm. the space, right? And I'll right. say, if you leave the couch there, the camera's gonna grab, it's gonna show that the room is too small. Right. So those are things that people don't think about on mm -hmm. a daily basis. They're like, well, I'm comfortable having yeah. my couch that way. Yeah. But then that, those are all the little tips that helps have somebody with a fresh yeah. eye that's not attached to that house that's in there trying to yeah you know they maximize. become they become blind to things or not you know that i love that commercial nose blind you I've know seen that. oh you know when you, you don't smell the different smells you become uh, nose blind oh yeah i find you oh, uh, well, yeah. in your own home you do too like you know i don't see certain things um tell us the difference between about staging someone that lives there and then vacant properties because again a lot of people think you only do that to vacant properties yeah so there's many great stagers in hrm right now there's a lot of people out there uh my bulk of my business is probably 85 percent is owner occupied yeah. type of staging and there's different packages that people are available that's available yeah. to them I'll never refuse a job. I think everybody's equal and everybody's worthy of a staging consultation. I do too. Yeah. And that's another thing, like anybody that knows and anyone that's worked with, I mean, you and I have been together now, well, 10 years. Like, mm -hmm. um, I'll share that little story in a sec. But to me, everybody's house is their biggest asset. So I'm not gonna say to somebody, oh, your house is 199.9. No, we don't stage that. Oh, your house is 500. Oh, absolutely, we stage it. Because it is. It, you know it is it's and important it's, to do it and there's a lot of misconception too about even me coming into your to people's home and i totally get it right yeah they're like who is she to come in my house yeah. <laughs> and say all these things right but i i've grown to like it's been 10 years that i'm doing this and i'm not apologizing anymore because i'm there with the right intentions to try to help you, you sell your house for top dollar and if I'm the bad guy who's gonna say the things that you don't really wanna hear, well, I'm just there to help, Yeah, right? It's yeah. not an insult, it's not there to, to embarrass anybody, yeah. it's really saying, okay, don't. how can we strategically display yeah. or show your house to the best? Yeah, people, people think they take it almost like an insult. Yeah. Um, the Bellefontaine story, what that is, and the reason I wanna share it with you is because this was a house where a single guy and his son lived. Uh, there was no personal pictures. There was, there was nothing. There was no clutter. And I kept, it was on, I don't know how long it was on the market. This is how we met. And then literally you said, let me stage it and see if it sells. And the comments I was getting is the house was cold. It, was, it didn't feel, anyways, it staged and it sold the following week. And all you did, you changed around some furniture, you moved a TV and you brought a few props yeah. in. Yeah. Made a big difference. You know, when you're, you got to be able to, and that's where I come in, I try to work as much as possible with what mm. the client owns 
first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just about balance, it's about texture, it's about making sure every room has a purpose without confusing the mm -hmm. buyer, that they're not saying, well, what is that room? And the scale, people, if it's vacant and if there's nothing in the room, they just cannot they're, visualize what fits in there. That's right. right? And with resale, let's take, a everybody loves before and after pictures. Sure, let's so do let's that. do a couple. And then, and then I've got a, I've got a question for you. So this here is a, is a living room, and this is the before picture of the living room, yep. and it's very dark. Well, first thing is, I took that when I first went in for the consultation, so it's right. not a professional picture, but it is definitely very dark. You've got the really dark brown walls or clay color, the dark curtains, mm -hmm. everything is dark, and the, the furniture's all bunched in one corner. Um, and a lot of furniture. And a lot of furniture, personal pictures on the wall. Yeah, let's so just on. take this off. Yeah. There we go, and you can flip it. So this is and just, just on a another angle. angle of it, and they've got the family pictures up there, and they've got them almost touching the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> which is another. <laughs> That's another. My uh, husband does that. Yeah. Yeah, you got to look way up to see and the picture. And we can talk about that. What, yeah. What's the best way to, to. Wow, what a difference. Okay. So these clients did, we worked. So my clients, I have different. You can do jobs that are like these clients. What I'm trying to get at is we worked a year. Mm hmm. So we started a year before wow. they knew they wanted to sell. They knew they had to put a little bit of money into it. And we started with a small consultation. I went in and uh, they opened up the wall and we freshly painted everything. Um, and we changed some accessories. We took the ottoman that went down in their basement. Mm -hmm. It was still good to be used. They had a different coffee table. So it's still the same furniture. It's all their, theirs. Just it's, it's all the same furniture. A little bit of work. But, yeah. Wow. You know, softened up the curtains and all that good stuff. Yeah. So, and gave it a whole open concept instead of having it all closed in. But I did not take the same angle picture. So that's why it's kind yeah, of. Yeah. Just, but we can still see the light. So. Okay, so let's let's pop back to just chatting here for a minute. If because I really like what you said about this house, you said they need f they knew for about a year they were going to be selling. Mm -hmm. So that's how that's how early because you've done that with me. Remember the one down on um, in West La um, by Lawrence Town? I can't remember. Crow Road. Oh yes, yes you yes. went in in November. We weren't listing till April. Yeah, I find now people are starting to to embark a little bit more in the staging concept mm -hmm. because I, I don't know how many times I've gone in and they're like, oh, we're going on the market next month. And yeah. they've put five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 into the home in, and it's not even going to add value to the yeah. home. So if you can start ahead of time, yeah, right? And not, because if they, they, they start ahead of time, sorry, I'm repeating myself here. Um, then they start putting different colors and then they all of a sudden they, they realize once I come in, I'm like, eh. Yeah, don't do anything to you. Come in. Yeah. So we're going to finish off today, Lisa. I want to ask you a question. If you could do one thing, one thing, what would you what would you say is the most important? For me, it's clean. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, I think a lot of people don't understand the value of a clean home. Mm -hmm. It's pride in ownership, and it's beyond just surface cleaning, mm -hmm. right? It's pulling out the... The exactly stove and behind the every stove. corner yeah. and stuff like that yeah. it's very disappointing when sometimes when i go in and i th i think everybody can do that this doesn't cost any yeah. money it's elbow grease and windows. again you you don't notice like i know myself when i go in the bathroom i'm not looking all around the the corners of the shower i'm not looking at the caulking or the baseboards on a continual basis but buyers are oh yeah yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's a reflection of the care of the house. Well, it's the same if you're going to sell your car. What are you going to do? You're going to make it polish? Yeah. And the more it shines, the exactly. more you're going to get the value of it. Exactly. Um, let's look at one more before we've got to go today. I'm just going to grab one here off the, off the pile. And this one is a bathroom. So tell us about this bathroom. So we were almost ready to go on the market and I kept telling the client, I said, it's dark in there. And I was trying to convince him to paint the cabinet white and he's like, no, it's going to look terrible. Mm -hmm. So finally he bit the bullet. Uh, we painted, freshly painted oh, the entire wow. room. Oh, wow. And he painted that cabinet <laughs> white and it just like, it feels like it's a whole different that bathroom That is altogether. amazing. Yeah, yeah. 
and then from a different angle. Yeah, these yeah guys, there's no comparison. These guys sold within a day yeah. on the market. Yeah. It really well. Really yeah. really and well. kitchens and bathrooms can make or break a house. Lisa, we're out of time for today's show. Will you come back and do some more video or sure. do some more staging videos with us? Anytime. All right. Thank so you. Lisa Beaupre. And if you'd like to get a hold of Lisa, just reach out to me, Brenda. Uh, Brenda Kay at brendakay.ca. And I want to thank you so much. This is Real Estate with Brenda Kay, the channel we talk about everything and anything to do with your real estate. If you like the channel, please subscribe or send us in maybe some ideas. Right? Love that. Okay. Right, cheers.